Avilio. Welcome wizards, witches, and nomads. My name's David Sicello, and thank you for taking the time out of your day in visiting my channel, Wands and Reviews. Tom was a British wizard who was most likely a pupil at Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. He became the landlord, innkeeper, and barman of the Leaky Cauldron, a popular pub and inn that's located in London. He was very friendly with those who stopped in or who were just passing through on their way to Diagon Alley. When Hagrid entered the Leaky Cauldron with Harry Potter for the first time, Tom greeted Hagrid like an old friend or as a regular customer. Tom was more than capable of casting spells and was proficient with charms. He could also perform some simple non-verbal and wandless magic such as lighting the fireplace. He was a skilled wizard in his own right. When Sirius Black escaped from Azkaban prison, Cornelius Fudge requested that Tom keep an eye on Harry Potter while he was staying at the Leaky Cauldron. After Voldemort's defeat during the Second Wizarding War, Tom continued on at the Leaky Cauldron until his passing. When we are first introduced to the character of Tom, he was portrayed by Derek Dedman in Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone as an older, normal-looking gentleman. When we see Tom again in Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban, Jim Tavare took over the role of Tom with the more disheveled look and hunchback, as described in the books. We actually see Tom use his wand when he silences the car alarm from where the night bus bumped into it when dropping off Harry Potter. This scene made me want to learn more about Tom and his wand. Some argue that the two different looks within the two films mean that it's two different Toms. Yes, two actors did portray the character of Tom, but I have to disagree and say they are one in the same. You see, I have a theory. Since the Leaky Cauldron is a gateway between the non-wizarding and wizarding worlds, it is open to everyone, wizard, witch, and muggle. I believe that Tom placed a charm upon himself and the Leaky Cauldron so that everything looks normal to the eyes of a muggle. But to the true witches and wizards of the world, they see everything as it really is. The charm even worked on Harry Potter when he first entered the Leaky Cauldron for the first time. Why? because Harry Potter was still in disbelief that he was a wizard. But that's just my theory of why Tom's look changed within the two films. With that said, I would like to share with you my replication of what I'm led to believe is Tom's wand from the Leaky Cauldron. This is my replication of Tom's wand. The wand measures in at 14 inches in total length. As you can see, the wand is more unique than most wands that we have seen up to this point in the Harry Potter films. The pointed shaft of the wand's body starts to have a twisted feature in it that leads up to the handle that curls up like a proboscis of an insect. The color of the wand is a dull mix of caramel and tan colors with a slight greenish tint mixed in with some darker accents to simulate food items that may have spilled onto the wand and stuck there. I wanted the wand to show that it was worn and shows use as it sits in Tom's front pocket that would probably get all sticky and messy from time to time. So why am I led to believe that this wand design belongs to Tom of the Leaky Cauldron? I stumbled upon some production photos of Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban, and amongst them was a picture of Jim Tavare in costume, and with it was a picture of a wand. On that picture it was handwritten, Innkeeper, and that is the wand that I replicated. So until someone official from within the wizarding world tells me 
that I'm incorrect with my assumption that this one belongs to Tom and not some other character, I truly believe that I replicated the correct wand for Tom. At LeakyCon 2019 that was held in Dallas, Texas, I met Jim Tavare. He gave me a postcard with his character of Tom from the Leaky Cauldron that he signed. With that and one of the coasters from the Leaky Cauldron that I picked up at the show, I placed them in a frame, and on that frame rests the wand that I created for Tom. If you enjoyed this video today, please click on that thumbs up button, and if you would, subscribe to my channel. I do appreciate it. And remember to share this video with your family and your friends. Thank you for visiting, and have a wonderful day.